Welcome to our new presentation. Our selected topic for today is Dietary Guidelines. In this video, we have answered the below questions. 1. Why Dietary Guideline is important? 2. What are the goals of Dietary Guideline? 3. List of 14 Dietary Guidelines for All Welcome once again to our Nursing Exercise channel. If this is your first time here, we have a YouTube channel that aims to enrich your knowledge about your health, fitness, medication, nutrition, diet, etc. And if it is your plan to update yourself about these important issues for all of the important tips, advice, discussion and presentation, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on our notification bell icon. Let's start our presentation. Why Dietary Guideline is Important A balanced diet provides energy and nutrients for optimal growth, development and body maintenance. To achieve a balanced diet, you must eat a variety of foods from each of the food groups. This requires an understanding of how to improve dietary diversity and quality as well as wise food selection in planning meals. The most important step is to educate you about what your body needs and follow dietary guidelines which convert the scientific knowledge of nutrient requirements and food composition into practical messages so as to facilitate proper meal planning and consumption for nutritional well-being. This guide is an attempt to develop food-based dietary guidelines for the general public and proposes practical suggestions for better nutrition and health. Goals of Dietary Guidelines The main objectives of dietary guidelines are in the following. 1. Improve nutritional status of the Bangladeshi population and prevent nutritional deficiency diseases. 2. Ensure adequate nutritional status of pregnant and lactating women. 3. Prevent and control chronic diet-related disorders. 4. Maintain health of the elderly and increase life expectancy. List of Dietary Guidelines for All These guidelines also embody the idea that a healthy eating pattern is not a rigid prescription, but rather, an adaptable framework in which individuals can enjoy foods that meet their personal, cultural, and traditional preferences and fit within the budget. Now, I am going to present 14 important dietary guidelines for all in the below. 1. Focus on your whole diet instead of individual nutrients. The nutritionist emphasized that the foods you eat work to affect your health. They cite scores of studies in which diets low in saturated fat and high in fruits, vegetables, nuts, legumes, and whole grains are associated with reduced rates of cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and several cancers. 2. Base your meals on higher fiber starchy carbohydrates. Starchy carbohydrates should make up just over a third of the food you eat. They include potatoes, bread, rice pasta and cereals. Choose higher fiber or whole grain varieties, such as whole wheat pasta, brown rice or potatoes with their skins on. 3. Eat lots of fruit and vegetables. It's recommended that you eat at least five portions of a variety of fruit and vegetable every day. They can be fresh, frozen, canned, dried or juiced. 4. Eat more fish, including a portion of oily fish. Fish is a good source of protein and contains many vitamins and minerals. Oily fish are high in omega-3 fats, which may help prevent heart disease. Oily fish include salmon, trout, herring, sardines, pilchards, and mackerel, etc. 5. Cut down on saturated fat. On average, men should have no more than 30 grams of saturated fat a day. On average, women should have no more than 20 grams of saturated fat a day. Saturated fat is found in many foods, such as fatty cuts of meat, sausages, butter, hard cheese, cream, cakes, biscuits, blood, pies, etc. 
6. Eat less salt, no more than 6 grams a day for adults. Eating too much salt can raise your blood pressure. People with high blood pressure are more likely to develop heart disease or have a stroke. 7. Maintain desired body weight through a balanced food intake and regular physical activity. It is recommended that all healthy individuals engage in adequate levels of physical activity throughout their lives to achieve overall physical, mental, social and spiritual health. Maintain ideal body weight by balancing food consumption with physical activity. Practice minimum 30 to 45 minutes of daily physical activity like walking, running, jogging, cycling and household work. Maintain body mass index BMI 18.5 to 23.0. 8. Do not get thirsty. You need to drink plenty of fluids to stop you getting dehydrated. The government recommends drinking 6 to 8 glasses every day. This is in addition to the fluid you get from the food you eat. 9. Do not skip breakfast. Some people skip breakfast because they think it'll help them lose weight. A healthy breakfast high in fiber and low in fat, sugar and salt can form part of a balanced diet and can help you get the nutrients you need for good health. 10. Limit red meat and processed meats. Red meat and processed meats like sausage and hot dogs have been associated with an increased risk of colon cancer. Conversely, diets low in red meat is linked to a lower risk of heart disease and diabetes. 11. Limit sugar to 10% of calories. Why this advice? Sugar intake over 10% of calories has been linked to obesity, adult onset diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and dental cavities. 12. Consume safe and clean foods and beverages. Consumption of unsafe food can cause severe illness and even death. Awareness and knowledge regarding food selection, labeling, food storage, food handling and good personal hygiene during food preparation help to maintain food safety and good health. 13. Adopt and follow appropriate preparation and cooking practices and follow healthy eating habits. Proper methods of cooking render foods palatable by improving the appearance, taste, flavor and texture, thereby enhancing acceptability. Cooking makes food soft, destroys germs and improves digestibility. Eat food timely and avoid overeating. Eat food with proper chewing. Steamed food is more nutritious. Wash vegetables and other foods before cutting, cut vegetable into larger pieces. Eat additional food and take extra care during pregnancy and lactation. 14. Practice exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months of life. Introduce appropriate complementary foods after completion of six months and continue complementary feeding along with breastfeeding up to two years. If you have any query, please comment in the comment box and if you enjoy watching our videos please subscribe our channel to receive notifications every time we upload a new video. Hit the bell icon twice. Thanks for watching.